Remember Pump Up the Jam? Pump Up the Jam. Pump Up, Pump, Pump, Pump. We already have a dance. We already have a dance. Pump Up the Jam. We gotta like pump it up. <laughs> This is the only way. We gotta get into the this character. Bro, though. Yeah. No, I'm just Welcome. saying. I know. I'm sorry. Welcome. Today's one of the days that I'm trying to get into character. You are a character. That's true. You just are a character. That's true. There's a difference between having character and being a character. You literally are here because you are a character. My name's Ed Valdez. I'm Dana Chaplin. And we are... Local Exposure. Boom. All right. Uh, you know, Local Exposure, we're here to highlight the culture of DeKalb County. We're going to recap some events, give you some featured events, and always uh, talk about a new connection that we have here in the community. Um, yep. So first thing up, we want to recap some events we've been up to since last time. I have sitting next to me right here the reigning champion from our 50 Men Who Cook. Uh, Ed Valdez, yeah. he made an amazing dish, Carnitas Perfection, and it was an amazing event overall, but amazing. It was, yeah, it was event. really fun, of course, a win for me, a win for my community, a win for my family, and I'm just honored to be asked to do it. This is the second year I've done it, um, and I really, really, it was special. It, the, the dish itself, you know, it came from my family traditions. We, yeah. we took things that I would normally eat on a sand Sunday with my family and we try to elevate each element Those to bring something pretty sauces. amazing. And everything was so perfect. This dish was called Carnitas Perfection. But everything looked so perfect. And it was just a delicious one bite. Everything in there floating in your mouth. You did a fantastic job. I know you worked so hard on that. It was. It's awesome. it, yeah. It's a team effort to do any of that stuff. You know, it, it takes a lot to create the dish and then be able to present it on a day like that. And you know, hey, Zeus had given me some tips. He's like, you know, you eat with your eyes, Ed. So make sure it looks pretty. And we, we put something out there we thought looked great, and we were happy to to win. Um, but we were happy just to support a great cause. Um, so okay. So this this uh, for our featured event this uh, this for this episode, um, we came up with. We had, a, there's a lot going on here towards yeah. the end of the summer. So we put, we combined our feature event section into a feature events section uh, because we want to support what's going on here. And if, and if you're new to the area, you want to definitely check out some of these things. The first thing is the Sycamore Ribs Rhythm and Blues Fest. That's August 28th, 5 to 11 p.m. Um, you have your headliners are... Uh, Back Country Rose mm -hmm. is playing and it's going to be a great, time in the street sycamore we're gonna have uh ribs some ribs rhythm and brews sorry yeah. and it's so there's drinks there's music it's a lot of fun and you know come out kind of it's like the end of the summer events are happening this this weekend coming up so and then the next uh, event we wanted to talk about would will be in DeKalb, which is corn fest that's so happening on uh the same weekend the 27th through the 29th and Corn Fest, I mean, how do you even explain what Corn Fest is? Yeah, it's, it's a huge it's the, street fest. Yeah, it's a featured event for DeKalb and DeKalb County. It brings people from all over to uh, the streets of DeKalb. You have music, you have food, you have a carnival, right. you have all kinds of street vendors. Um, you have things for the children. You have a, a children's art uh, festival going on there, so there's a there's a ton going on. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of local food and just enjoying the community, what it has to offer. Definitely check out Corn Fest. It's yeah. a fun time. Great. And speaking of Corn Fest, one of the supporters of Corn Fest is also our new connection this week. So our new connection is the Egyptian Theater, and we know that they're not new to the area, but we are excited to promote them. Uh, the Egyptian Theater just recently underwent a huge renovation. It's a, an iconic piece of uh, 
DeKalb. So I know yeah. we're both really passionate Absolutely. about Absolutely. Built in 1928-29, uh, it was a trend of theaters built at that time. There's only six of those left. Yeah, I didn't even know that. Yeah, and that's what kind of, it's funny, we're talking about something that's new from 1929, but it really is new. They've right. done a, such a great job with the renovation. It now has air conditioning. They put amazing amenities in, like the bathrooms are these elegant spaces. The concessions is, you know, it's a, it's a great job in the right. concession stand. So it, to, they, what they really did is they were able to take the history and legacy of the place and then use that when they remodeled it and it really, really recaptured its, you know, its former glory. Yeah, and I love how they promote local things. They, they promote local music, local theater, local events that are going on. Uh, they also promote music at, in satellite events, so they've hosted the music for the DeKalb, Count, uh, DeKalb Farmers Market this, this summer, the series of musicians, as well as at Corn Fest, I believe. Yeah, at Corn Fest, they have a community stage, so mm -hmm. uh, that's you know something definitely to check out at Corn Fest, the, the Egyptian Theater. It's such a great community center now. Right. Uh, like I said, like you were talking about, they have so many performances from the local community that you get to see stage shows. You can rent the space out. Yeah, it's open for tours. It's such a great, you know, like I said, community center, and there's so much going on there. They're doing such a great job at bringing things from outside our community that we may not no, get no. if we didn't have such right. an awesome stage. Right, they have national acts come all the time, so just keep an eye out what's going on with uh, Egyptian theater. It's a great place to have in our community. Do you remember any of the shows or things that you saw there growing um, up? Well, I definitely have seen a lot of movies there. I remember going and seeing like weird, you know, what do you call those? Like kitschy movies. I saw at the Pi. Time, oh, Pi. At the time they called indie movies. Indie, yes. Yeah. I saw several indie films there. I remember seeing Pi and it was so disturbing, this movie. <laughs> the I remember my brother and his friends coming home from the movies there once. And he's like, I saw this really, I think it's a funny movie. It was cool. You got to check it out. And I was like, what's it called? And he's like, uh, the Big Lebowski. Oh my gosh, I love that movie. And he, he's all he said was like, it's about bowling. The dude. <laughs> and I was like, it's about bowling. And he's like, he's like, you gotta watch it. And I was like, okay, but the Egyptian. So is, good. Yeah, the Egyptian has a history of being really hip yeah. and bringing in very very cool things that you may not have seen or at, at the regular theaters. So it's a great. Like, they've always like had that legacy. I'm glad that they're keeping it going in yeah. such a major way. And I'm glad to reconnect with them and come to new events and you know it, it's part of our area for so long. It's if, you have, if you're new here definitely go check something out at Egyptian Theater. Absolutely so thank you so much we really appreciate all the uh, we said lately we've been getting a lot of outreach into our pages and we really appreciate it. Thank you for liking and sharing these pages because the more you share this stuff, the more it gets out there to people in our community. It supports the businesses and the local community that we're actually highlighting. So thank you so much. Yeah, we look forward to new things and we appreciate all your feedback sending us things that we should check out. Uh, we'll see you next time.